stop what they're doing. You know why? Because they actually know what's going on, and they know historically they're going into very dangerous waters right now. You know, again, it's not just us going into dangerous waters. The criminals, the good, the bad, the ugly, we're all going together there. That's the thing. This is not going to be fun for anybody. That's for sure. And don't forget, there's a lot of good people out there in the military and law enforcement, and they're just waiting for us to say, we want to help you. And it's going to come about. There are some positive things to this. And these people continue to make mistakes. We know that because we're breathing down their neck. And uh, we're going to win in the end. We may pay a great price. But we got to keep doing what we're doing, especially with this legislation now, which is coming up in the House. We've got to climb all over Washington. We have to hit them with 100,000 or a million emails a day and just absolutely put them off kilter. Well, if they start trying to snatch and grab citizens, you know they're going to snatch and grab unpopular groups first to set the precedent, but... It's 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 it, let's go to Ironhead in Washington. Thanks for holding Ironhead. You're you're a trooper. Go ahead, gentlemen. My absolute pleasure. I've been a longtime subscriber to Bob, and I've been following you, Alex, spreading your emanation emanation across the entire universe. Thank you. We have to remind ourselves that life's going to give us whatever we need for the evolution of our consciousness. And if both of you could now, in metaphorically sense, grab a magic marker, walk up to your wall, and write fear is the ultimate sin, for it displays the greatest lack of faith. If we try to win this thing on a carnal, temporal basis, we're going to lose it big time. It's going to go to a much higher place of consciousness. Alex, I want to ask you the most powerful question you've ever had asked, not forceful, but power, power versus force. A man came to us 2,000 years ago. He said he was here to witness to the truth and to fulfill the prophecy. In your heart, not your mind, not your left brain consciousness, but through the morphic field that you and I and Bob and millions of others are now entrained in, do you believe that is true? And if so, that will alleviate, eliminate, take away the fear. No, I, I know it. And you're right. The heart is where everything gets done. The heart has its own discernment. And you're absolutely right. I know we're going to defeat tyranny. I know evil is weak. And the globalists, that's why they always want to make us feel like it's, you know, foregone conclusion. The Borg will absorb you. Resistance is futile. Because if you believe it's futile, you're going to sit there and let them run over you. I appreciate your call. We're going to go to more calls here in a moment. But, uh, yeah, we've got to know that resistance is victory. Okay? And you've got to just stop worrying what your neighbors and friends. Bob earlier had a military guy call in before you got on. And he was currently, you know, in, in Virginia. They're in the regular army. And he was saying, in big army, he was saying that a couple of three years ago, everybody in his unit laughed at him and called him tinfoil hat. Now they call him Nostradamus. Now they, now they come to him for advice and are, and, and are awake. And that's how it works. We've got to be, I mean, how many decades have you been attacked for what you've done? Five and a half. <laughs> I'm an armadillo. Otherwise, I wouldn't have survived. But the point is, is that you do see those seeds sprout later. Oh, yes. Uh, it was a hard road, but uh, and we had some great people along the way. And they serve their purpose, and they're gone. And uh, I'm here with uh, G. Edward Griffith and Tony Hilder and a few others, and uh, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. And it'll happen within the next five years. When? I don't know, but they'll make their move, and we'll be ready for them because we will have told hundreds of millions of people throughout the world, this is what's going on, and this is how to handle these people. The minute they take the financial system down, we've got to go after them. Well, make no mistake, we are at the history of – we are at a historical juncture right now. We are at a crossroads, and and – it is enjoyable when somebody laughs at me and attacks me because I know that I'm getting to them and they're at least having to give me a response. And I know down the road, I've just planted a seed in their mind that's going to sprout. And so, again, you need to not just get to where you don't care of your neighbor or your boss or your employees laugh at you or your pastor. You've got to get to where you enjoy standing up at church and saying, 
I'm going to hand out 100 of these DVDs at the end about what's happening to America. You need to get to the point where you enjoy going before city council. You've got to get to the point where you enjoy it when a corrupt government bureaucrat comes up and threatens you. Even if they attack you, you've got to get to where you enjoy it because it's giving that fight that is victory. It is standing up and telling the truth and a testament of the truth. That's where the real strength and power in this universe is. And when we exercise the power we've got, it trumps the enemy every time. Even if we're defeated individually, the examples we give, take the Alamo, all killed, all destroyed. But that example emboldened others. And that's what it takes. That's why they don't like to kill patriot leaders. 30, 40 years ago, they did kill a lot of people, even 20 years ago. But they learned it doesn't work. They know we're fertilizer to the tree of liberty. They want to assassinate our character publicly. They want to assassinate the image of us. But it doesn't matter because we've now transmitted the idea, transmitted the information, and ideas are bulletproof. Bob Chapman, as we got a break, final comment on that. I couldn't have said it better myself. And that's what we're all about. We're here to help people understand how to save their families, their country, uh, their freedom, their religion, all of the things that have been part of the sanctified process in our country for over 250 years. And uh, we're the watchmen. We're the people who are telling you the truth, and you've got to act on it. You've got to help us. That's and you right. got to win it for everybody else. That's right. We'll be back. Discover a natural way to experience cleaner... All right, it's the final segment with Bob Chapman jamming in phone calls. I'm probably going to overdrive to get to them all here. Philip is from military New Jersey, been holding. We really appreciate you joining us, Philip. Uh, what's your view on not just the end of posse commentatus, but the announcement that the military will arrest citizens with no charges and that we can disappear into black holes? Oh, it's an absolute travesty, Alex, to be quite honest with you. And, you know, I can try to explain that in a, a real quick story about there's two types of officers and NCOs in the military. You've got the officers and the NCOs that are kind of just yes people, and they go along because they're really pretty scared for their security. You know, if uh, if you, you know, subvert the system, you either get kicked out or you uh, gracefully get walked out of the gates and you're off, you go to retirement. And uh, then you got the other guys who actually stand up, they're officers, men, or they're the NCOs that lead from, you know, lead from the front. And uh, to go back to a real, real quick story, I was in a parachute accident and uh, – Basically, I jumped out, got tied to the plane, and went in flight with the aircraft for about five minutes. And uh, the guy flying the plane was the ops group commander, and he basically did everything contrary to the checklist. And uh, they basically, it was a night jump, zero visibility, and uh, they got me over the DZ. And without having any real confirmation that I was still conscious, they cut me loose. And uh, to make a real long story short, um, they basically... They basically just crushed the checklist, and we have checklists for a reason. So they, they cut me away not knowing that I was conscious and able to pull my reserve chest, my chest reserve. And, uh, you know, it turns out that I'm here. I'm alive, obviously, because I'm talking to you. But the, the real thing is that, you know, they, everybody wanted to praise this guy that, you know, he did these measures that, you know, that saved my life. Well, he's not the one that saved my life. I saved my own life. And. And no one wanted to hold him accountable. Well, that's like the Pat to, Tillman. They murder him and then retread him and say that he was fighting Al Qaeda and then it all comes out. But that's classic where when there's uh, corruption in the manufacturing of parts and they fail, mechanics that expose it will get in trouble. And just an incredible culture of corruption that, 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 that sets in. Bob Chapman, uh, this is a microcosm of everything we're talking about. It certainly is. And uh, it shows the entrapment. In all phases of life, uh, the military, law enforcement, uh, large transnational corporations, national corporations on Wall Street and banking. I mean, you either do what's within the norm or, you know, you're out. And sometimes they'll tolerate you. It all depends on how far you go. But uh, the military is a very difficult place to express yourself. And if they've got uh, I know psycho I've been there and done that. Well, and if they've got psycho leaders above you, then that then everybody starts following the orders of those people. 
And you've got an incredible tyranny. Did you have anything else you wanted to add, sir? Well, yeah, Alex, it wasn't it, not so much, you know, the guy's a psycho, but uh, Mr. Chapman and Naomi Prince mentioned conditioning and what people do to protect each other. This, this guy was the ops group commander, which is a pretty high-ranking position in the military or in the, in the squadron. So, I mean, he theoretically, if things went the way they should have in the investigation, this guy very well could have lost his job as the ops group commander and very well been retired from the military. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, you said that, well, you know, will people, uh, will people in the military, you know, rise up against this stuff? I don't think so because it's conditioning. But as long as you see, you mentioned that 10 to 5% of people that, you know, make a stand, that's the difference in what makes, you know, the, uh, the, the, the difference. You know, so and they, I know you. I know the time is short, and uh, I get th- thanked a lot for my uh, service, and I appreciate everybody who's thanked me for my service. But if you really want to thank me for my service, stand up for your Constitution, your Bill of Rights. Absolutely, there's this hollow thank you for the service, but never talk about what is the military supposed to protect? Constitution, Bill of Rights. Instead, it's being set up to destroy all of that. This Sunday, four to six p.m. live, and we're gonna probably get Paul Craig Roberts or somebody on. I forgot that I had a liner. Sorry, guys. Uh, but here we are in overdrive. Uh, Paul Kurt Roberts has an article up and a video up at Infowars.com right now. Congress is repealing the Constitution. Stuart Rhodes, I think, said it best. Congress has declared war on the people. When they say it's all a battlefield, we can secretly arrest you, you can disappear forever. I mean, that is off the charts crazy. I want to uh, jam in a few final calls here for folks who have been holding the longest, like Frank and Dwayne, try to get to some of the others. But uh, briefly, that point of the 5 to 10%, it's always the 5 to 10% that get involved. I'm not saying I'm some great guy, but I've seen a, a four-wheeler tump over on somebody, and there's six, seven people standing around, nobody helps, but I do. Or a lady choking, and everybody stands around, and I have to go over and help her. I mean, and I don't think it's always been this bad. It's been bred into us now and conditioned to just stand by and look for a specialist to do it. That's how slaves are made, Bob Chapman. It certainly is. One in doubt, do it. Let's jam in a call here. Let's talk to uh, Frank, former military, get his take on this. Is, it, is this what you served for and swore an oath to the Constitution so that the military could be used as a sword to slit the Constitution's throat, Frank? In a world of lies and deceit, Infowars.com is hard to beat. <laughs> Infowars.com. I do, I do one of those seven-second ads, uh, Infowars ads, every week right before the air rush Limbaugh here locally. I come up with a different ad every week. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Alex, that's exactly why I joined. You know, the, the situation is surreal. Uh, you, you know how they used to say, send in the Marines. Well, I can see a time in the near future where uh, if, the, if the U, these U.S. troops refuse to obey these illegal orders, people like uh, that effeminate Lindsey Graham, or they're going to say, send in the Chinese. Let's get some Chinese troops in here to follow orders and abuse these uppity sheep. Well, I agree with you. And uh, look, they wouldn't be being this overt if they weren't scared. And I'm going to answer my own question. They're overt about it now. And have thrown down the gauntlet because they need to be able to tell the military commanders, look, we passed a law. Now order the military out there to secretly arrest people. Send the trucks around door to door. I mean, uh, Chapman, do you see my point? They're being overt now because they're thinking about trying to activate this. You're absolutely correct. Uh, they think the time is right. I think a lot will have to do, too, with the next election as how how they proceed. And hopefully we will have an election, and I think we will have an election. Um, if Rod Paul gets elected and people like him get elected,